you for being with me on Pentecost. You know, last year when I wrote this prayer for Pentecost using bubbles, um, I had no concept that one year later we would still be in lockdown and we would still be afraid to gather. So I'm going to make another recording this year of the Pentecost bubble prayer, but I want to bring into focus some of the things that we will see in Pentecost 2021. The lectionary readings for today, um, among them are, of course, the story from Acts 2, 1 to 21, the story of the Holy Spirit um, visiting the disciples, the apostles. There was the sound of a rush of violent wind and tongues of fire that rested on each of the apostles. And that gave them the ability to be able to speak in languages they didn't understand themselves. This was so um, raucous and uh, uh, unusual that uh, people in the streets thought that they were drunk, even though it was just nine o'clock in the morning. But they weren't drunk. They were consumed with the joyful outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But there's another lectionary reading for today. It's Romans 8, and in particular, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. In this year plus of living with COVID, that's maybe more how we're feeling on this Pentecost. Sighs too deep for words. But I want to invite you to celebrate with me the um, prayer that I wrote for Pentecost that uses bubbles. So get your bubbles ready and join with me. Dear God, as your breath gives life to your church, our breath gives life to the bubbles. Holy Spirit, the only way we can see you is by the work of the people you rest on. Help us to see you in all those that do the work of caring for others. Dear God, as your breath gives life to your church, our breath gives life to the bubbles. Soapy water is transformed by our breath into something pretty and fun. Your breath, O oh God, transforms people into your willing and joyful servants. Dear God, as your breath gives life to your church, our breath gives life to the bubbles. God, as, as we blow our bubbles, we know that we are in a time when many find it difficult to breathe at all. Please be with those who are sick and having difficulty in breathing. Dear God, as your breath gives life to the church, our breath gives life to the bubbles. We can see that when we blow bubbles, they float away and burst after a moment or two. We know, dear God, that your spirit will never leave us. It will never disappear. Dear God, as your breath gives life to your church, our breath gives life to the bubbles. Amen.
May the blessings of this Pentecost season be with you as you celebrate.